Saudi man and two Yemeni women are arrested, were arrested for mocking Islamic rights. Saudi police arrested a man for mocking religious rights after he had appeared in pictures prostrating to a woman, a police official said. The images went viral online, showing the man in worship positions in front of the girl next to a mosque in emulation of the Islamic prayer. A spokesperson, a spokesman for the police in the holy region of Mecca, um, Brig Mohammed al Gamdi, said authorities had identified those involved with this, quote, criminal act. The, the suspects are a Saudi man in his 30s and a Yemeni female resident in her 20s, as well as another Yemeni woman who took the photos and uploaded them on social media, the official said, according to the Saudi news portal Sabak. The pictures are actually kind of cute. So it's very interesting. I know, I love it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this this seems like an anti-religious pro. Uh, what I'm looking at, so he's so the woman is standing in front of the man, right? And the man is uh, bowing to the woman, but in the motion that you would do as if you were praying, uh, not not brown. Pro, pro, how do you say? What does it say? Prostrating. Prostrating, right? Uh, uh, but it looks like you're doing an Islamic prayer, like salat, but you're not doing it towards God. You're doing it towards the woman. Which seems like he's saying, like, I worship, it's kind of like a statement, like, I worship this woman instead of God. Are they, are they a couple? Do we know? I don't know. I mean, but there were three clear. people, two women and two Yemeni women and one Saudi man. It's very interesting. This is like three countries. So it's happening in Egypt, in Cairo, Egypt. The man is from Saudi Arabia. The woman is from Yemen. These are some of the most religious places. Like, he keeps doing more and more religious. Like, Egypt, uh, then I think Yemen is more religious than Egypt. And then Saudi Arabia. So, I mean, these guys seem to be anti religious to me based on what they're based on these pictures but they themselves are from the most religious parts of the planet um i mean they are mocked there it, it does look to me that they're mocking islam in in favor of some form of humanism like that's what i'm getting at is that what you guys getting at it from this image? i think they're just saying it's all a bunch of bullshit it doesn't matter i mean islam is very anti-women just saying prostrating before a woman is very so it will be very anti-islamic they're just mocking the religion yeah they're mocking the religion bullshit. and i can tell that they're at least liberal if not if they're not anti-religious they are liberal because the woman is not wearing a hijab and they're supposed to be mm -hmm. this is this is inside of a mask or outside of a mask Next to it, Next so outside. So outside of a mask, and she's not wearing a hijab. She can't be very religious. In I mean, in Egypt, you don't have to wear the hijab, but if you're not wearing the hijab, you can't be uber religious if you're not wearing the hijab, right? So and the, the men. I mean, what I'm what I'm worried about is they they just put their lives at risk. I mean, they could be punished by death. Not no, in by death in Egypt, I don't think so. If it was Indonesia, I would have said like 251 lashes or something, yeah, but no, I don't know. I know in Egypt, you wouldn't get even lashes. You might get prison. I mean, you wouldn't even get lashes or death penalty, even if, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, somebody in the comment section, even if you were an Egyptian citizen. These people are not Egyptian citizens, right? So given that they're not Egyptian citizens, I don't think it's they would even, even if they were Egyptian citizens, they wouldn't, this wouldn't get a capital punishment. Okay. Okay, so is this possible? Like all three countries are like very Islamic countries, and the Saudi Arabia and Yemen, they just ask Egypt to hand them over so they can yeah, right. uh, give the proper punishment right. they want. So actually, yeah, you're right. They couldn't give the man a death penalty by just sending him to Saudi Arabia, right? That's a death penalty. Just be like, okay, um, and Saudi Arabia would. It's possible for Saudi Arabia to give a death penalty for something like this, but not for Egypt. Again, Egypt is very religious, but not as their their laws are different than Saudi Arabia. I mean, even in Saudi fucking Arabia, you won't get a death penalty for this. You won't. You would get harsh punishments, but unless you came out and say, like, fuck Muhammad or something like that, or God is not real out openly, you probably, you might get lashes for this or something like that, but you're not, I don't think you're going to get the death penalty for this, even in Saudi Arabia. Um, but yeah, I mean, the picture is, is very cute and it's very, I think 
there's not that many pictures that say a lot with very little and make people wonder. You mm-hmm. know, those pictures that you look at and like, what does this mean? What are they trying to say? And it starts a conversation. And it's very, like, this, this is one of those pictures. So it's, and they did it very, like, it's very, you know, you have natural lighting. It looks pretty cute. And the woman is doing a small bow as well back to him. Like, it's not just um, him pro- prostrating to her. She's also doing a bow with her hands like this. So it's kind of like mutual respect at the same time. So I like, I like it. It's a conversation starter. Did, anywhere else, this would be like, oh, this is cute. This is interesting. But now these people have to go to prison. So fuck you, government of Egypt, for being so intolerant. Like, what the hell? Like, who is this hurting? You know, seriously, like your your country is so fucked up that it has to go arrest people like this for not doing anything wrong. Like, how sensitive are you guys that you can't take this? Like, how weak is your religion? How pathetic is your God that they can't tolerate something like this, right? Isn't your God supposed to be the strongest thing, the most powerful thing in the whole universe? And your whole religion is threatened by a picture like this. Like, how? Like, you guys should put yourself in prison because you're insulting Islam yourself. Because you're telling the whole world that how weak your religion is that can't take a picture. So you're insulting Islam by doing this. You're blaspheming, so you might as well jail yourself, right? Blasphemy of low expectations. <laughs> ah, ah, that's good. <laughs> I'm going to use that. I thought um, this was really interesting, quite subversive, because I can't remember if it's in the Quran or if, if it's in the Hadith, but doesn't it say, didn't the Prophet say that if, you you're not supposed to if if he would say that you could bow before anything except the lord it would be a wife to her husband right wait um i don't think that's authentic hadith is that sahih hadith or not because there's a whole bunch of woman friendly hadith that has no like for example the hadith that says that the paradise is under the feet of mothers a lot of muslims love to say that um, to show how how female friendly it is, and that one is not sahih, but the ones that are sahih are ex- extremely anti woman. I don't know this sahih. I I I heard this hadith before, but I don't know if it's uh, author, um is sahih or not. I have to, good yeah. You um, wait. So what is it? What's do you have the exact hadith in front of you? No. No. Because the um, same. It's the same prophet that said that the hell is filled with women. He says that he saw hell. So I don't know. The, I don't know. No, no, I don't yeah. know if you heard me right. It was yeah. saying that, uh, if, like, there should be no occasion with which go, a human like bows to another besides the Lord. But if there was, but if there was an exception, it would be a wife prostrating to her husband. Oh, so shit. This yeah, never works. mind. They would reverse. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes, I heard that one, but I th- I thought I it was the other way. I thought it was the other way around. Let me see, actually. Is that Hadith Sahih or not? Um, if there was... Actually, I'm not going to look at it right now. Somebody... Do you, can somebody look it up and comment in the, once the live stream is over is, is in the comment section? So here's the tip. If it's in Bukhari or Muslim, it's, it's if, if it's in one of these sources, it's, it's considered Sahih most of the time. But yeah, actually. So I actually... I'm... Okay, this is going to show my bias. Now that you're saying that it was the other way around, I'm going to think that this is probably Hadith <laughs> Sahih. This is probably authoritative. <laughs> but I might be biased. If it's anti-woman, I believe I, I'm guessing that it's authoritative. But if it's pro-woman, I'm guessing that it's not one of the authoritative Hadiths. Yes, I'm biased. But that has been proven right many times, so we'll see. Well, I'm, I'm guessing. Okay, but... I think I found it. Okay, where is it? Um, Hadith al-Turmindi. Um, the Prophet said, Had it been permissible that a person may prostrate himself before another, I would have ordered that a wife should prostrate herself before her husband. Hadith al-Turmindi? Mm-hmm. 285 narrated by Abdu Haraya Ra. Wait, how do you, how do you pronounce Termindi? Uh T I R M I D H I. H I. Okay. Is is it say Okay, so here's the highest how you do. You see is it Sahih? <laughs> 
um, known as one of the six. Yeah, oh yeah, one of the six cano uh, canonical hadith complaints of Sunni Islam. He also wrote. Okay, so there are six hadith books that are the most authoritative ones. The Bukhari and Muslim are on the top, and most a lot of Sunni Muslims consider those two to be all ha Sahih. But the si the six main books. This is one of the main six books. But I think the ratio of Sahih to non-Sahih in this book is less than those other two. So it might not be, again, this is, you need a, one of those main, hold on. You can go to Wikipedia and just search for Sahih. Is this Sahih? Um, and clarifying this, uh, of the Hadith is being Sahih. Okay, choo -choo. Contains, uh, like mentioned, the differences, views, angels, arguments, and clarifying circumstances of the Hadith is being Sahih. I, it depends, I guess. It depends on who you talk to. Because it doesn't start with Sahih. Um, you, you know, Sahih Bukhari. Look, I have Sahih Bukhari right here. Um, Hadith Bukhari, a lot of people even don't say Hadith Bukhari. They say Sahih Bukhari because it's all Sahih. Mm -hmm. But this book doesn't say that. So it's, it might be Sahih or not. But anyways... Um, let me see that the top comment is imagine your God being so incapable that you have to physically fight for his rights for its rights uh, Those Muslims are so touchy so Steve is saying okay. Here's let me give you the devil's advocate for what Muslims could what a What a Muslim that knows how to defend Islam would say okay? They would say like listen the reason why so we say like oh my god your god is so weak your god is so pathetic why does he need you to defend islam why can't he defend islam yourself see this is how this is how you respond as a muslim if you know your uh if you know how to debate atheists and um islamophobes quote unquote um you would say that listen god doesn't need us to defend islam god is giving muslims an opportunity to defend islam Right? He, Islam doesn't need defending. This is an opportunity for us to prove ourselves to God by defending in Islam. This is in our benefit. This is a test on us. It's an opportunity for us to do God, to, to be better Muslims. It's a gift to Muslims. So that's how I would say, uh, respond. And it's kind of like how yeah. when I mean, Christians, like, they're like, oh, well, when bad things happen, it's our opportunity to, like, be tested right. in our faith. Right. So, like, for I example, mean, if you say, why, God's, why does God need our prayers? A good Muslim response would be, God doesn't need our prayers. You need the, you need, you need the prayers. God is give, giving you the opportunity to pray Him, and he's, you, you just don't realize how much you need it. So that's what they would say. But go on, Shopa. Mm -hmm. Now, I was saying I would have been like a, an old mafioso family, I guess. Oh, God cannot be bothered to listen to the petty things you have to say. So we will take care of you. Yeah, but again, for if you say God, God is okay. Yeah. Anyways, I'm not gonna do too much. I think I would be a good Muslim apologist if I was Muslim. <laughs> I think I would. Oh, be you would a, take them to task. Yeah, I think I should debate myself at some point and try to. Like, take myself down. Do like, you know how Stephen Colbert had one of those, like, you, you argue against yourself, like, do one of those. I, th I think actually many atheist activists would be like good religious apologists had they never left their religions. Because most of the religious apologists I see on YouTube and stuff, they're like fucking stupid. We, by the way, guys, go on YouTube, search X Shia versus X Sunni. Um, mm -hmm. me, m we did a debate, I, um, me and Vidovitz, he pretended, he's an ex-Sunni, and he pretended to be Sunni, and I'm ex-Shia, I pretended to be Shia, and we debated Shia and Sunni, we argued against each other as if we were Muslim. And I think... It was so funny! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I watched there that was too. So many comments uh, Vido, Vido. Was like, I just converted to being ex-Shia. <laughs> 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 That's funny. That was a good one. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah. Search that. X Shia versus X Sunni. And yeah. Vidu Viz. He's, when you go check his channel, subscribe to his channel. It's very good as well. All right. I think we're done here. That was our last yep. news. That was really fun. Yeah. It's really fun to have you, uh, Susanna. You're, this it makes it a lot more fun to, you know, be more. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for being here. 
Uh, Shobham, you were very needed, much needed today for all the Indian news. Every time Shobham has something, uh, he can't show up and something happens that he can't be on the news. We have like four or five Indian related news. I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> where's Shobham? We have no... I think, I think <laughs> I've, I've taught you enough that you can do good on your own No, now. we... No, we need you every. <laughs> so. We also like you for the non-India stuff too. No, we all no. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm kidding. Are you saying that he's stuck inside his his culture? What kind of intersectionality is this? He can't talk about anything else. What is his cultural relativism? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying that. He's not very good at commenting. The only reason why he's here is to give the impression that we know what we're talking about because he has an accent. Uh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> you're, I mean, you're... I'll, I'll say what you said to me last week. You are so mean. <laughs> what, what did I say? You you told me I was mean because I don't remember what was the context, but you told me I was mean. Yeah. Last week before the stream. Oh yeah, yeah. He he, wa he got back to me just <laughs> once, and I told him why is he being so mean. But yeah, no, you're here just for your accent, so it, it gives us some li like people think like, well, pe these people must know what they're talking about in India. That guy has an accent, so that's all we need. Your accent. <laughs> <I'm> just... <laughs> All right, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. We love you, we love you. No, oh I, 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 no I don't know something like people here in India, many people say I'm, I have an accent which I shouldn't, according to Indian standards, but many people say I have an accent. I don't know why. Yeah. Anyways, no, we love Shobham. We love him a lot. So uh, w the show wouldn't be the same without him, obviously. All right. Love you guys. Love everybody in live chat. Um, Andrew on Facebook, Brian, Vic, uh, Mars, Old Scratch, Boogie Monster Mom, Soraya, um, Beach. By the way, so, uh, Susan, every time you're on the show, if you want to give a shout out to something you're doing or some somebody that you think is worth giving a shout out to, just do it. Um, or you're gonna start a podcast soon, I think, right? If you do, <laughs> so it's only because you you it, that's your idea for me. Oh, yes. That's what you want me to do. I don't <laughs> well, know yet. <laughs> well, if you do start a podcast or a YouTube channel or a book or if you're doing anything, feel free to give a shout. Like tell people about it. Uh, beginning of the show, end of the show, in the middle of the show, um, show up on you as well, okay? So even if it's not relevant, well, even I would if it's... say go check out the interview or conversation that we just had on Wednesday on Secular Jihadists. Oh, thank you. Well, wow. the shout I had so much fun doing that. Yeah, I had so much fun doing that as well. All right, guys, so I'm going to end it here before we get too lovey dovey. All right, bye, guys. See you next week. Bye, bye, bye. everyone. Don't you guys don't go away. News. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, what has, what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah. You, we think is no and oh look oh they also hit the bell button but nah you guys are too controversial we want to show them mainstream stuff we want to show them cnn or cat videos or whatever but even you know, people are like no we want to see atheist republic and youtube is like no nah, we don't think you want this they're like no please show it to us we say to you we want to see atheist republic and youtube is like no we think we know what's better for you than you yourself so to solve that Link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well and share, share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized. That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that, but we don't care about <laughs> that anymore, but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritize. What does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right and all that, you know, on the, on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. 